Well, Brett, we're excited to welcome you to the Twin Spires team and the Churchill Downs family. The new Twin Spires ad is hilarious. What was your reaction when you first saw the final version? Um, I thought it was funny as well. I try not to ever take myself too seriously, you know, just in general. Um, and it, I thought this ad was sort of reflective of that, uh, just kind of able to poke fun at myself uh, at my own expense. Uh, I, but, it, but well done. It was very well done. You know, you and I and the rest of the team, we had a, a, a lot of time to visit that day. And, um, and I've done a lot of ads over the years. And you, you never quite know, even though you kind of get the nuts and bolts of it, but you never kind of – there's always this, this anticipation of when it's put together – because we did, you know, not in sequence uh, at, at times when I mean, you do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, and then it's all brought together. I was just anxiously wondering how this would come together. And hopefully, I mean, I don't want to do anything that people don't like. Uh, but I think that they really will enjoy this ad. I think it definitely will draw some attention because it's very well done and uh, I, I think it's very funny. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. We'll uh, get some attention. It already has. Now, some of the scenes uh, looked a little easier than others. Did you have a, a personal favorite scene? The ice bath, being that that was the last thing we did, uh, means that we're wrapping up. <laughs> I can't say that it was, I mean, it was real ice for people who know, are, are wondering. It was real ice and it was, uh, it was cold. But the uh, the classroom scene or whatever the chalkboard scene was pretty pretty funny. Uh, the ropes was actual, you know, for people who are wondering. That's that was the real deal, uh, and it was hot, it was humid, um, and I broke a sweat. Trust me, I broke a sweat. So I don't know if that was my favorite, but I was glad to get it over with. Yeah. It was pretty damn hot at the time too. Yeah. Um, the behind the scenes footage that you shared on Twitter the other day of you throwing the ball through the tire went viral online and attracted hundreds of comments. Um, it must be nice to know that you've still got so many fans out there that want you to come out of retirement. Yeah, I think now when I get the, when I hear those, uh, those comments or uh, posts, I, I tend to think surely they're not serious at this point i'm 51 years old i haven't played in 10 years um i, I would end up killing myself um uh, if i came back but uh but it is nice to know i mean I, I have fun with it now you've got a lot of lot in common with tom brady and drew Brees, uh including being the only three guys to have uh, won a playoff game in your 40s how much are you looking forward to their game this weekend well, you couldn't ask for a better better marquee matchup. Um, and obviously those two lead the whole, you know, the, when you talk about the game, you have to talk about those two quarterbacks first. And they have been good for a long time, been great for a long time. And to be matched up at their age um, during these crazy COVID times, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better game and match up. Now it's more than just the two quarterbacks playing each other. It's way more than that. But but obviously, um, Drew Brees and Tom Brady um, facing off for the third time this year, and and a winner goes on, a loser goes home. You couldn't ask for for a better mac a marquee matchup. And of course, your old Packers take on the Rams on Saturday afternoon. Who wins this game, and by how much, Brett? I, I mean, no disrespect to the Rams, but I, I think this one is a no-brainer. Uh, Packers win. Uh, you know, the, the Rams have, have been very inconsistent this year, but they have a very stingy defense. And, and if, they, if they are to win, the defense has to show up. And I don't think the defense can hold them from, from scoring more than 25 to 30 points, which means the Rams' offense has got to show up and you got a quarterback with broken thumb, inconsistent offense this year. I, I don't think it's close.
Does Aaron Rodgers deserve to join you as a three-time MVP? I, absolutely. I think he, you know, every year statistically puts up great numbers, but this is, this is uh, an unbelievable year, not only individually, but as a team. I mean, they've kind of run the table um, all but, a, you know, a, a few games. And I, I, I think they're in the Super Bowl. I don't know if they win it, but I think they're in it. Um, just because they're, they're head over heels better than everyone else. Speaking of quarterbacks, Twin Spires is, is about to launch into Michigan, hopefully as early as next week. Um, Matthew Stafford, you, you've played against him. How would you like to see him end his career? Well, you know, there's been a lot of guys that's played in Detroit that have been really good. Uh, Calvin Johnson and and Barry Sanders come to mind. I think you can now put Matthew Stafford with that. And those guys, uh, Calvin and, and Barry, never got to, to experience playoff or, or su success after the – or success other than individually. I'd like to see Matthew do something in, in Detroit that, uh, that can, can kind of turn the, the tides for – for the team and the organization, something's got to give at some point, and for the, for the better, he, he's been good for that organization, much like Barry and Calvin has, and uh, you, you know he's one of the good guys. I'd like to see him do something. I don't, I'd hate to see him go somewhere else and have success, but I'd like to see him have success. So I'd like to see it done in Detroit. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm sure a lot of diehard Lions fans would like to see that as well. Brett, can't let you go uh, without your Super Bowl tip. You kind of alluded to it earlier when we were speaking about the Packers. You know, I think this one is a, you know, I can always be wrong, but I think most people, if you, and I'm, I'm with most people, if you had to pick who will, which two will be in the Super Bowl, it's Kansas City and the Packers. I don't, I don't see anyone beating the Packers and I don't see anyone beating the Chiefs. And, and that would be the that would be the matchup the NFL is hoping for, um, the two the two best teams, uh, record wise. And I don't think you can argue that either team uh, is unbeatable. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, it would be an absolute absolutely fantastic game, Brett. Once again, welcome to the Twin Spires team and the Churchill Downs family. In fact, now that you're part of the Churchill Downs family, we're going to have to get you to the Kentucky Derby on the first Saturday in May. Have you ever been to a Kentucky Derby? I have never. I have never. You know, and when we were doing the, the video shoot, we talked about that. And we actually had, uh, as you know, we had plans to, to go. And then that got postponed to the fall. And then we had plans to go in the fall. And then that got shelved. So uh, hopefully we get to at some point. I hear it's quite a treat. Hopefully it happens in a, in a few months' time. Brett, you're going to absolutely love it. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, Andrew. Cheers.